after doing this Daniel key shuffle between Daniel, Big Majors, and Black Point for the last month, it was once again time to head south. With the light winds today, it ended up being a motor cell with the stereo turned up loud. The anticipation of what I would find at Little Farmer's Key. Part of my prep for places I haven't been yet was to make notes of things to do and things to see when I get there. An ocean cabin on Little Farmers was rated to have the best lobster in the exuberance. I thought I'd give it a chance. The lobster came in at $28.95, five bucks under Red Lobster. With the location and the scenery, it was a great deal. The lobster was much better than Red Lobster, but they couldn't touch the fresh salad and endless cheese biscuits. So, I still give the wind to Ocean Cabin though. The next morning it was time to leave. I was going to take the cut in the deep water pass instead of staying on the banks. There was a light east wind opposing the outgoing current, but I didn't think it would be too bad. So off I went. What the? My foresail is supposed to be up there. Not down here in the water. While I was gathering the sail up to throw it on the fore of deck, the motor died. I'm safely anchored once again after hoisting the mainsail, throwing it out as far as I could, pulling it back in, trying to get the boat to turn. Finally, she pointed north. I was able to fill the main, go up to some better water, and finally get the anchor down. This is the upper bearing that broke and started this whole disaster. Good thing I have spares on board. Later in the day, when I went to shore, my path crossed with Lady K once again. We hung out on the dock, had a great time. The Curly Documentary, take three. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting here at Little Farmer's Key. Everybody's enjoying themselves, having a good time. Yeah. Drinking some nice cold bears. My name is I, I'm, I'm the director, the uh, editor, everybody, I'm coach. <laughs> Come salad guy. Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> Tim, I still owe you for that. Hey, hey, look, look, you gotta see this. If you stop at Little Farmers, you gotta wait in and see the turtles. I decided to wait till Georgetown to fix the foresail. So this morning, under a main and a motor, I went out through the cut with no issues. About three fourths of the way to Georgetown, I picked up lunch for the next few days. One of the reasons I hate trolling with a rod and a reel. When you live at anchor, great neighbors are always a plus. When I saw scenic, and cactus, I dropped a hook right in the middle of them, just in time for a beautiful sunset.
I've decided the best way to show you around Georgetown is by the beaches. Every beach has its own personality. And today, we're going up to Flip Flop. All the crazy kids I met up at the laundry at Staniel made it to here before Christmas, cleaned up Flip Flop Beach, and had their Christmas here. One of the hurricanes took away the thatched roof that had been keeping Flip Flop Beach shady over the past few seasons. Although there's not a new palm roof going up, I think it's kind of fitting for a sailor's paradise. Ah, uh, Jim. All right, now. Sorry, Rick. I think that you need to get that um, stick out of there. Oh, you gotta put it around the tree. That stick is gonna stop it. Steve, put it around the tree. I know we're working on it. Hold on, John. It's on the post. Now you're losing shade now. So guys, what do you think about the shade? Another one of the great things about Flip Flop Beach, it's calm, it's shallow for a very long ways, which means everybody's waist deep, sitting in the water, having a drink, chilling out and cooling off. Now that everybody's cooled off and we have shade, it's time to eat. I got a big scratch across mine. <laughs> they don't last very long. I, I keep thinking I should, but I don't with them. I mean, I posted three or four from before. Thumbs down and thumbs up. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. 
who are you anyways? I didn't make this for my, you know, it's for my friends and family. And these assholes get on there. I'm not entertained. Thumbs down. It really pisses me off. I don't even want to do it anymore. We tried to hail you. You know what I mean? Like, hurts my little feelings. You know, I, I spend all this time trying to put something together that's entertaining for my family. And, you know, anybody can see it. And they, you know what I mean? And they're all like haters. Why are you giving me thumbs down? I'm not talking about my Oh, am I on video? Of course, oh, why not? Suck it in, man. Oh, suck it in. Look at that. <laughs> hold on, I have to hold. Oh, the pose. Yeah, okay. Like you gotta pull it back as you do it. Exactly. Right? <laughs> no, I don't. Who cares? What's up, man? Welcome to the party. Thank you, thank you. Sunburns and alcohol. It's spring in the Bahamas. God bless. Like spring, it's still winter. It's two, two or three days ago, man. The sun, tur the sun turned on two or there three days know. ago. It's, her birthday hasn't happened yet. It's still winter. Oh, okay. Speaking of birthdays. Don't fall asleep here at Flip Flop. There may not be much left in the morning. If you take a walk through the pines and the scrub brush, you end up at Powder Beach. Don't know why they call it Powder Beach. It's really coarse sand and shell. And it takes forever to get out of your shorts. Not all the cruisers go to bed at sunset. Some of us are up past midnight and even later. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, Sherman, there's a starfish under your boat.